Hello and welcome to today's Python tutorial. Today we are going to make this web app using a Streamlit and newspaper library called Article Summarizer. And I have also deployed it on Streamlit. Now, if I um, paste the URL of a news piece, uh, I will get the summary and the keywords as well. So for example, I'm following the news on Iran and there have been a lot of protests because of the oppression that these people have been suffering from because of the regime. So anyways, I'm going to uh, pay, copy this URL and paste it in here and press enter. So what I get is the image, the title, the keywords have been generated and extracted from the text. And you have both a full text and also a summary for those who are uh, too lazy to keep reading all of it. So uh, now this is what we are going to make. I am going to use PyCharm as my IDE and we need to install Streamlit first. So you can go something like pip install Streamlit and press enter. That should be for Streamlit. And now for newspaper library, you need to mention newspaper 3K. Make sure you have 3K, because that is for Python 3. And when you, uh, you press enter, it will be installed. Once you've done that, you need to import them. So import streams as ST, an alias, and import newspaper. Now make, let's make sure everything works. So let's start by writing something on our web page. For example, ST dot, um, let's say title. So we are going to use a streamlet method title to write a title on the web page. Let's call it article scraper. And now control S, save this. And down below, you need to start your server. So you run this command, streamlit run main.py. Main.py is the name of your file. And it should be in this, in your directory, whatever it is. Now, if I press enter, you will see a local URL here, you see. And it pops up here, this one. And article scraper awesome you can change the theme in the setting parts make sure you have run on save so whenever you save your code in your PyCharm or whatever it will be reflected here and you can change it to what a light theme or dark let's just keep it a light now okay now um let's see so here we have this text input that people can uh, input their URL. So let's create that as well here. So to create an input field, simply st dot input, and you can see text underscore input, and it gets a couple of arguments. You can give it a uh, label, something like enter URL. You can also give it a placeholder. So something like paste URL and enter, something like that. Now, if I save this control S and go back, I can see enter URL, paste URL and enter. Maybe I don't need this enter URL. So I, I need to have something here, but it should be empty. Okay, now what else do I need here? Maybe I have to also save it inside a variable that is whatever the user inputs and presses enter, it will be saved into this variable URL. Okay, now I have the URL. What can I do with it? So I can say if URL, that is if the URL field is full, there is something in it and the user presses enter, something should happen. So what should happen is newspaper. We need to grab that article from that newspaper. So let's create something like new article equals, let's use our newspaper library, which we uh, downloaded. And we're going to use the article class and inside that, give it the URL. So now the newspaper library goes and grabs that URL. Once it has grabbed the URL, we need to download the article. So I would say article.download. So we need to download the article. Once we've done that, we can't parse it. We need to parse it or analyze it, parse it, I mean, take it by piece by piece so that we can take the authors, we can take the images, we can take the text, whatever. So here, say article.parse. 
So now we are parsing it. And once we've parsed it, now we have access to different pieces of the article. That is authors, for example. So I can say authors equals um, article dot authors, no parentheses. Now I can, for example, uh, write the name of the authors, uh, authors, come on, okay, I can write down the name of the authors on the web page. Let's save this control S and go back to see what happens if we have any errors, you know. Okay, so for example, uh, let's go to, I don't know, Europe, uh, something like Paris, and here, if I copy this and paste the URL and press enter, I don't get anything. Why is that? Because there is no author mentioned here. You see, no author here. So maybe we can find such a thing in other uh, news agencies. Let me just open up CNN or other places. Okay, now I am on CNN. Now let's see what this one does. So where is it? So here, let's see, press enter. And yes, we have an author, Nadine Ibrahim. So, but it's in a, in a list. So maybe we can just put it as a simple text. Uh, okay, let's do that here. Instead of saying write, we can Im simply use text. Okay. Text authors. Oh my goodness. Now, if I save this and go back, I should see this. Where was that? Let's close this off here. Now you see, this is what happens. Now we're going to get rid of these, right? So we can use, um, join method. So we can say dot join, join. So by join, we are joining the, um, the elements in a list together without any space, nothing there. So I can also use commas. That is, if there are several people, several authors, join them together using commas. So now if I go back, you see we have Nadine Ibrahim here. And if we had several authors, they would be, they would be separated by commas. Okay, now, now that we have this one, let's get to other parts. For example, the full text. So I can grab the full text here by maybe I can use uh, actually tabs. So let me show you what I mean. So here, for example, I have used tabs. You see one tab for full text, one tab for summary. And then we also have keywords up there. We'll get to it. So full text summary, let's deal with that. So we can define two tabs, tab one and tab two, which is equal to st.tabs. And this is going to give us tabs. Let's name them. For example, the first one uh, should be like maybe full text. And the second one can be summary. Now, how do I put things in, under these tabs with width? notation with a context manager. So with tab one and underneath indented, whatever I put would be under tab one, which is full text. So with tab one, I want the full text of the article. The article, we have already stored it in article, right? You see here, article, we grabbed it from the URL, we downloaded that, we parsed it. And now we want to get the text of it. Yeah, that's it. So. And what about with tab two? With tab two, um, let's just say, okay, nothing for now, actually. So let's just say nothing for now. Okay, now let's save this and go back to see what happens here. Look, it already happened. So now we have full text here. All the text here, awesome. But then for summary, nothing yet. So we have full text. Summary. Now let's get to summary and keywords. So for summary and keywords, uh, I want to put the keywords here. Okay. 
Now, for summary and keywords, we need to use the LNLP. So here I would say article dot NLP parentheses. So we're going to use natural language processing article dot NLP. Now we can generate the keywords based on the frequency and, and salience or importance and also uh, generate a summary. So now we have we can process the article for summary and keywords. So now that we have done that here, instead of nothing, we can put in article, article dot summary. That's it. <laughs> Super easy, right? Now what about the keywords? Let's just print out the keywords up under uh, the authors, for example. So we can put in sd.text and uh, article.keywords. This would be a list, so we need to do the same thing with it, but first let's see how it works. Let's save this, go back, and let's see. So we have the keywords in a list, awesome. We'll make sure it's more beautiful. And summary, look, we have the summary. But because it's st.text, you see this is happening. So we should use another one, which is st.write instead of st.text. So if I use st.write here, and maybe the same for the keywords as well. And if I go back, you see now, now summary is, looks much better. And we have this one in a list. So we need to join them together using commas. So for joining these together, let's uh, say something like st.subheader, for example. Let's make sure everyone knows this is going to be the keyword section. And here, let's say key equals this. Yeah, it's more readable like this. So we have, we are, um, storing all the keywords inside this key, which is a list now. And we are going to join all the elements in that list with a comma. So we should join the key, the elements in the key with a comma. So now save that and go back. And look, you see, these are all the keywords. Maybe comma and space would be better. Yeah. Okay, comma and space, nice much better now. So we have this article scraper, we have the address, we have the writer, uh, the author, keywords here, and full text and summary. So that was it for today. I hope you liked it. And uh, if you did, please just uh, hit the like button. And um, yeah, share and subscribe. Thank you very much for